Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today I'm going to be doing a, a little, something a little different, something I haven't done in quite a long time. <clears throat> I actually like responding to some people when they make videos, and uh, this time I'm going to be doing it to a uh, YouTuber by the name of Thomas Soren. Thomas makes a lot of great videos. I hope you guys check him, check him out. I'm going to definitely leave a link to this video that I'm going to be responding to as well as his channel in the description. Definitely go check him out. He makes great videos. Um, he made a video recently about uh, Pearl Shop price selling uh, for, for Pearl Shop items, the, the marketplace selling of those items, the price getting increased. He made a video talking about it. And um, I... I feel like he is maybe misunderstood on a few things that a lot of people may have issues with when it comes to this thing. First of all, I just want to say I don't have any issues with it because I really don't care. In my eyes, the game is already beyond, beyond pay to win. So I don't really care about any additional. At this point, it, it can't get any worse in my eyes. So, but as far as other people and uh, other insights i guess you could say other perspectives of other people i know where they're coming from when they say that this is an issue and um hopefully i can explain it in a way where you guys can understand and i can help thomas understand a different perspective i'm definitely not attacking thomas or anyone who has the same opinion as him this is simply uh a way to open up uh some discussion so with that being said let's begin with thomas's video there has been some controversy recently with the forum posts that have basically advertised that there are plans in Black Desert Online to increase the Pearl Shop items by 50% in terms of value on the marketplace. And this is ringing some alarms for a few people. And what I'm going to do is show off the, the good and bad things. And I'm going to try and explain to you why I feel that this is really not an issue. The main concern is going to be people saying very simply, this is not great because this is unfair because people that already sell items are making money basically for free, just giving out items uh, from the pearl shop. And so these people spend real life money, they put it on the marketplace, they make in-game money, and now they have an advantage over me because I decided not to pay real life money uh, to do that. I had to work hard over here in game, do all these different things in, in the game and spend a bunch of time in game. Whereas this person over here just paid real life money and made as much as I do. So that's the main concern that a lot of people are that have the issues with this whole thing are actually going to bring up. Uh, these people are making even more money without actually doing anything extra. They're now making even more money by doing the exact same thing they've been doing, spending real life money, putting on the marketplace, making in-game money. Now I'm gonna go ahead and counter this concern you may have with a very simple explanation. For example, the value pack is one of the most popular items currently on the marketplace from the Pearl Shop. And so it's uh, 15 US dollars goes up for 9.8 million silver each. And that is a ratio of one US dollar to less than one million silver in game. This ratio, pretty much everyone with common sense has, will understand that this is a terrible ratio. This is simply not workable. It's not profitable. It's not wise. Do not waste your real life money trying to do this. You can do so much better doing something else in game. You can do so many different things in the game. You can farm bosses all day. You can do that. You can make way more money than this. It's so much better. And you didn't just burn a bunch of real life money doing it. And this is the first uh, kind of point where I disagree with Thomas. This is a point where a lot of people like to make saying um, it's not worth it. You know, it, it's simply not worth it. I would never spend, you know, uh, $100 to make 100 mil in the game when I could play the game and make 100 mil without spending $100. You see, that's the issue. That's the disconnect. In your eyes, Thomas, it may not be wise. In many people's eyes, it may not be wise. In my eyes, it definitely isn't. Believe me, it's not worth it at all. But to some people, it is. To a lot of people, it is. That's why there are 50,000, 50,000 value packs that have been sold. And they, get, and they get listed on the minute. It's because some people do believe that it is absolutely worth it. Some people have more money than you or I and have a different understanding of how much, or not understanding, but 
they have a different perception of how much money is worth to them. So for you to say that's not worth it, yeah, it's not worth it to you, but it may not, it may be worth it to someone else. The question is, is the question is not, is it worth it or is it not worth it? The question is, can you do it? That's the question. It's not, it's not, is it worth it or is it not? Because no one can say who who's worth it for other than the person that's actually spending the money you can't speak on someone else's wallet you know and that's the first thing that a lot of people say another thing that a lot of people say is you can make that much money playing the game which is true you can easily make 100 mil in a day without even getting a lucky rng drop if you do you might be able to make 200 mil absolutely true but you can also make 200 mil with another 100 mil on top so instead of 200 mil you make three instead of 100 mil you make two instead of 150 mil you make 250 mil you see what i'm saying you add 100 mil on top so to say that is kind of uh, it's kind of pointless because at the end of the day you can always get more money and at the end of the day um you can't control or you can't say what is worth to someone else so it's obvious that there's nothing on the marketplace right now literally nothing because people know that it's, it's not really profitable and so the people that do actually put it up are either trying to get a quick buck, you know, fast money, or they are just helping other players. There's nothing up because the demand is very high. That's why there's nothing up. They, they go up all the time, bro. Put them on notification. They go up all the time. It's just the demand. The demand is not there. Uh, I'm sorry. The supply is not there. The demand is crazy. The supply is not there. And that's not just including. That's just one cash up item that you're looking at right now. You got to look at pets costumes everything you can't just look at one they all go up all the time for every single class at pets different kind of pets put them all on notification i guarantee you're going to see them once again you're you're complete you're comparing your worth and your idea of worth to someone else's that's not how you should do things especially when you're discussing a topic that affects everyone especially when you consider some games like runescape maple story where people spend tens of thousands of dollars with no problem why what makes you think that they won't do that on bdo that because most people, it's factual that in a lot of games like this, that not a lot of people can afford to pay money outside of the either monthly or the the one-time pay. Because this is a one-time pay game currently at $10, which is less than an entire value pack in this game, uh, a lot of people simply don't have the money to buy these. And so they have to get them through the marketplace. And if there's none on the marketplace, then these people simply can't buy them. And that's a problem. Okay, so here's another big point I wanted to address. Uh, the, the point of it's a very big and important thing, a value pack, costume, pets, whatever. Very big and important progression in BDO. We all know that to be true. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on costumes, but everything else, pets, uh, value packs, definitely very important progression in BDO. You say it's a problem that people can't buy it. Uh, it's a problem that people have to buy it in the first place, right? You know who made that problem? The publisher made that problem. The publisher made it where there's no way to get value packs outside of buying it. That's not our concerns as players to figure out a way to make it so that these players can get the value packs more often. And the publisher definitely doesn't give a flying fuck because if, if they did, they put it in a loyalty shop. They have events, something like that. They don't care about people getting value packs. They don't care about people getting pets and costumes. They give penguins out once a month or not once a month once every other month once every three months whatever but for the most part they don't really care the reason why the prices are going up is because they want to incentivize incentivize people to sell them more that's the only reason it's not to help these people who can't afford businesses don't care about people who can't afford that's the way cacao runs things hate to tell you but this this point is also kind of false in a way so the solution is to increase profits by 50% that is not the only solution. Like I said, I just I just uh, supply some other alternatives. That's the solution that Pearl Abyss is going to go with because it's going to get them the most profit revenue. That's why. So let's go ahead and increase it by 50%, right? 9.8 million goes up to 14.7 million. So that's an increase of 5 million silver in profits that people are getting for selling the value pack. So an extra a little 5 million there. So you get, you now get 14.7. Congratulations. So what's the ratio? One US dollar to under 1 million silver. So didn't really change anything, did it? So really the amount of value that you get from this 50% increase for the most popular item being sold is still abysmal. 
I will not argue that the increase in silver you receive from selling a value pack has not increased dramatically. That that we cannot argue, obviously, thanks to math. However, what if it increases again? 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 What if it goes instead of 50%, 150%? What if a value pack is being sold for 30 mil? Then what? We would be talking, we would be having a different conversation then, wouldn't we? But regardless, that is an invalid point that I just made. Um, I'm just trying to plant some hypotheticals in your head, give you a different perspective, that's all. Which means it is still not worth it, technically. Sorry, hate, hate, hate to repeat myself, but I just have to stress this. Not worth it technically to you, in your opinion, but it, it, it's, that, it's definitely worth it to some people. So what's the point of this then for that increase uh, for at least uh, only for the value pack? Well, it gives the people that are nice enough to hand other people these value packs for in-game money instead of real life money. Uh, giving them an extra 5 million silver is perfectly acceptable. These people are nice enough to spend 15 US dollars to put this value pack on the, the marketplace for people that cannot afford otherwise to pay that money, real life money, and can only afford to spend in-game money to get this. I believe this is the most flawed argument in the entire video. Not only do you assume that these people actually give a fuck about someone else getting a value pack, but you also say that they deserve to be rewarded as such by receiving increase in silver. It's very interesting, man. Very interesting mindset. So it is basically the genuine niceness of other people that are of, that are putting these value packs up. It's the just the nice people that are willing to help out other players. And there's nothing wrong with helping these people out with a 50% increase. Honestly, it's not going to change the marketplace. If anything, it's going to improve it because it's going to add more value packs so that more people can enjoy these amazing benefits. 16 slots in inventory and storage is really freaking useful. And now you contradict yourself. You say that it doesn't make a difference and it isn't going to change anything. And then you say that it's going to increase the amount of value packs being sold. So is it going to change something or is it not? For something to have an effect on the marketplace, don't you think that 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 means that there's a lot more incentive for people to sell the items in the first place? So giving players this this benefit, more people this benefit is a very good thing and it doesn't unbalance it. It doesn't make anyone better, doesn't give anyone a true advantage. It and it does, sure as hell doesn't make anyone better at PVP because this this value is simply not there so it's really just imp it's just helping people that are willing to be nice whoa there okay now you just contradicted yourself again so you're saying that <laughs> so you're saying that it, it doesn't it doesn't improve anything at all but you just got done saying that increasing a value pack is very great it gives a lot of it gives a lot of it gives storage and weight inventory slots uh that's definitely an advantage. If you have more weight, more inventory slots, and more storage over another player, it's not a disadvantage, it's an advantage. So, And it doesn't make you better in PvP, absolutely not, but it does help you get gear faster so that you will be better at PvP, which is why people use value packs. If they had no use, then no one would use them. They are very, very helpful and very, very advantageous, which is why they're always sold out. Because this this value is simply not there. So it's really just, imp it's just helping people that are willing to be nice. But, but, you, but you just said, you just said it, it, that the value pack has, has value. Didn't, didn't you say that? Of course you have things like the costumes, for example. Uh, one issue with the costumes is if the 50% increase hits, it goes from around 25 million silver to 37.5 million silver. That's a pretty good jump in silver and people are going to take advantage of that. So people will start flooding the market. They're going to start supplying the market with a lot more costumes, right? So one issue that people are going to have to realize is costumes are permanent. 
You buy them once, they are yours forever. And when you get these costumes, you'll never have to touch it again. Which means if you supply a whole bunch of these permanent items, then the demand will dwindle. The demand is going to go down after a while if a bunch of them go out. Also, so that basically means there's going to be much less demand for certain sets of armor. Okay, so here's another flaw in logic, buddy. Um, Thomas, okay, so here's a, here, here's a few things. The first thing. There's new costumes released like every month, bro. So every single month, people are going to want a new the new costume that comes out. The new costume that comes out is going to get listed, sold out immediately every single month. So those people who want to sell costumes, if they if it ever did get to the point where the demand was that high, all they simply had to do is just wait until the new costume comes out. Second of all, yes, they are permanent, but people make alt characters. And they buy costume on those people want the new costumes. Like I said, people want multiple costumes, not just one. There aren't people who just want one costume. People want all of them. They want to collect the costumes. So there there's always going to be enough demand for costumes, costumes. I will. I can never see costumes just sitting on the market. It will never happen. I couldn't I couldn't imagine it because you want to know how I know because look at boss gear. There are so many different boss gears and guess what? <clears throat> you can only use one boss gear per account. So not only the the chest, the helmet, the gloves, the boots, they're all freaking gone all the time. They're damn near impossible to get. They barely even go up. And when they do go up, they go straight to pre-order or someone plans it out and pre-orders through pearls. So how can you explain that compared to this? Depending. And so another issue with that is competition. If a bunch of people put stuff up, that means your gear needs to be competitive now. So you're gonna start selling it for less than the max price, which is not gonna be 37.5 million. It could be as low as 32 million, which is not great. Uh, so you're talking about drop in profits to try and sell your product. Is it really worth trying to make 32, 37 million if you're fighting with other people now? Not a lot of people are going to see that as being worth it. It takes time, it takes effort, and you're still restricted through, you know, all the, the pearl shop selling item restriction stuff. So all the rules in the game are still restricting you. So again, this isn't going to help you a whole lot. It's not great. The, the value is not there. You're taking a lot of time. So the costumes, again, will not be a huge issue because of the competition, because they're permanent, the demand will dwindle. These these things are, are going to control it and prevent it from getting out of hand. Thomas, you do realize that our version that is extremely, extremely more popular than the Korean version has costumes that actually are worth a third of a Korean costume, yet Korean costumes get posted just as much there or used to get posted just as much there and were always sold out even when they were worth close to 100 million silver. Bro, you're very, very, very much um, undermining the demand for these costumes. Costumes will continue to get sold out regardless of how much they cost or whatever. And until they reach the 200 mil rank at that point, maybe. But if it's anything below 100 mil, they will be sold out instantly, just like a boss piece would be. Last but not least, you have something like a pet. But of course, pets are a com just not worth it at all because you're paying about $11 or so for stuff that's between five and six million silver or around five to 7.5 million silver after the 50%. That is still disgusting. It's not even a one to one million silver ratio and it ain't worth it. It's not worth it whatsoever. In the end, to summarize very quickly, there are a couple of scenarios. The main point is uh, the marketplace is going to stabilize itself. It's going to sort itself out after this 50% profit, if the profit does actually come. It's just going to sort itself out. That's how the economy works. It kind of, it's a ripple in the pool. You throw the rock in the pool, it ripples, and then it smooths out. It's going to fig it's going to fix itself because you have something called supply and demand. If the prices go up, that means people are probably going to supply more of it to make more profits, which means that the demand is going to be satisfied and demand will go down. And then there's going to be more competition on the marketplace for costumes and stuff. So you're going to have competition, which lowers the prices, which lowers their profits. You're not making 50% profit anymore. You're going to make around 20 to 30% profit. So th there's a lot of things that could happen, 
So it's a little bit harder without going into much more depth, but that's basically what's going to happen is it's just going to, it's going to sort itself out. So don't worry. This really isn't going to change anything. Of course, these are just my opinions and things could change. Uh, people could still freak out, but I am seeing a very mixed bag of people saying it's not a big deal. People saying it's terrible. Uh, post a comment down below. What do you think about it? A 50% increase in Pearl Shop items. Uh, post a comment. I would love to know what you guys think. And as always, thank you all very much for watching. Okay, my final thoughts go back to the, the, the last thing you said and go back to what I said in the beginning is that um, once again, just to look at it from a different perspective, why people have a problem. It's not because people are worried that the marketplace is going to go out of whack and there's going to be, there's not going to be enough supply. There's not going to be enough demand. That's not what people are worried about. What people are worried about is that Pearl Abyss continuously, 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 slowly, but surely continuously finds ways to incentivize the player to spend money in order to gain advantages. That is the issue that the other side that you're arguing against has. Once again, me personally, don't give a flying fuck about it. <laughs> I just wanted to make this video for fun because I like debating and things like that. But anyway, I don't have any problems with what with, with you personally, Thomas. Like I said, you make great videos. Everybody definitely go check out his channel. Um, I just wanted to give a different perspective and uh, show you that maybe some of the things, some of the th things you're saying is pretty much seems to me like you're just going off of assumptions, man. That's really what I'm getting from you. You're just assuming things. And obviously, like you said, it's your opinion. I understand that. But you're basically assuming and I'm sure that there's a lot of people like you that are doing the same thing that are assuming that this doesn't affect anything when in actuality it does because it shows what the publisher thinks about this game or thinks about the progression of this game and once again the other side the other argument is saying listen we're why do you guys continuously do this why do you guys continuously try to find ways to incentivize players to spend more money to make more money in the game that's 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 all they're saying those people that are still arguing that still care about this game being deemed as pay to win or whatever I don't care about it. I'm not arguing it. I'm just talking. I'm just having a fun. I'm just having fun. Honestly, I really don't care. But uh, that's it. That's all I want to say. I want to thank you guys for watching this long ass video. Didn't want it to be this long, but whatever. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.